Main sequence myth fitting is a method to find distance to a cluster of stars with known spectral types and apparent magnitudes using another cluster of stars with known spectral types, absolute magnitudes, and distances. Let's take a look at this main sequence fitting. First of all, we want to find distance to a cluster of stars. So here we have a cluster of stars that we would like to find distances to. The only thing we know about this cluster is their spectral types and their apparent magnitudes. Their apparent magnitudes is plotted on the vertical axis and the spectral type is plotted on the horizontal axis. After the stars are plotted, we find the apparent main sequence. It's not the true main sequence because we really don't know where this, these stars fit on this diagram. We just plot the pattern initially. Next, what we want to do is we want to find stars with known spectral types, absolute magnitudes, and distances. Then what we do is we plot the stars that have their known spectral types and their known absolute magnitudes on the diagram. We identify the main sequence of this known set of stars then what we want to do is we want to find what's called the distance modulus. It's the difference between the apparent magnitude of the unknown distance main sequence of stars to the absolute magnitude of the main sequence of stars with known distances. This difference in magnitudes is called the distance modulus and from this distance modulus, we can find distance using this equation right here. Distance modulus is equal to five log D minus five. We solve for D and we can find the distance to this cluster of stars. This technique is called main sequence fitting.